What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Hour, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Black Hour. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a crock pot apple cobbler, and you're saying to yourself, Black Hour, can you make an apple cobbler in the crock pot? You sure can. You've seen me do many of these dump cakes, as I like to call them, right here in the crockery. And you know, I stepped outside this morning, and man, it was cold. It had me out there feeling like Sanka. So, fall is right around the corner. It's the time for pumpkins and oh, hay rides and apple cider and all those fun festive things and this can be a fun festive treat so to do it we got to get into it first thing that we got to do i'm going to have apple cobbler got to have that apple so today i've got some apple pie filling comes in a can cheapo good to go and ready to do so now you're saying to yourself like oh can't you make your own apple pie filling from some fresh apples somewhere maybe you could go to the apple orchard and have yourself a good old time well i could but you know me buddy i got time for that shit so i get these cans today I dump them both down in my crockery. Then I want you to add some white cake mix. This is the Pillsbury. You know, you poke his little belly and he goes, You poke me, I might poke you back. Now, let's go ahead and <laughs> get our cake mix. Put it in there. It looks like I'm having a party, doesn't it? Well, maybe you're having a party. Maybe you're over there playing Pictionary with all your buddies. Now, get that in there. And I like to flatten it out with my hand, by hand, if I may. So, once you get it flat and evenly coated, we've got to add some melted butter just to help blend the whole thing together. I used about a half a stick because I want mine gooey gooey. Now, you want yours to stand up a little thicker, don't use so much butter. And that juice from the canned apples is really gonna help us do our thing, buddy. So, let's go ahead and get that put on there. Now, I want you to sprinkle just a little bit of that cinnamon on there, that cinnamon friend, to give it that good flavor. Now, let's finish it off with just a dusting of some sugar because you know what sugar you want a little sweet dude so go ahead and put all that on there we'll put our lid on there and since Halloween's around the corner we're gonna cook this on high for two hours and we might go watch uh, old Ernest scared stupid and he's, he's stupid as, as can be it's me giggling so let's go ahead and cook that we watch our movie and then we'll come back and have a sight and a big bite of this apple cobbler tonight me boy you know so Buddy, the time has come. The apple cobbler is done. I'm having that first bite part of myself, but I gotta watch out because it's still a little steamy, so I have to be careful. Oh, well, it's steamy, alright. But it's got a delicious fall flavor. That cinnamon with the apples and that white cake. It's a beautiful combination. It's a bunch of beautiful things. Beautiful time of year. Beautiful recipe. So I want to thank all you beautiful peoples for stopping by and watching another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other cooking videos right here on my YouTube channel. Now, you'll excuse me. I'm going to have me a little more cobbler if you don't mind. I'm feeling in the fall spirit, my friend. So, I'll see you next time. I'll give me some good apples. There's one. Ooh.